I'm going to be honest, guys. I cannot believe how much time I just spent micromanaging my physical appearance only to just get rid of the beanie I was wearing to cover my greasy hair and the hoodie and all these things. Uh, because frankly, I feel like I must not be showing up pretty enough for my channel for only having 7k subscribers after working at this for four years and maybe i just need to wear a lower cut shirt like other astrologers do not throwing anyone under the bus necessarily individually everyone does their own great interpretations but i gotta be honest it's frustrating sometimes to feel like you're competing with people who just get views for wearing low cut shirts and saying that everything is gonna work out this is the divine right path downloads coming in anyway Welcome back to the channel, I'm Isabel, and today I wanted to talk about the five signs that you've healed your Lilith, because I see a lot of people come to my channel for my Black Moon Lilith videos and are trying to actively work through their wounds. Are you one of these people? Let me know in the comments below. Have you been doing the inner work? Go you! Healing your Lilith is capital H hard, and I even know for me, it's not a one and done thing. It feels like an ongoing process, which can be annoying and frustrating. And so I wanted to share some five things I've noticed um, in my life for when I've worked through my Lilith wounds, which is specifically Black Moon Lilith. I can't say, that's a tongue twister, Black Moon Lilith. And I'm not talking about the asteroid Lilith. This is the aspect of point in your chart. It's the dark side of the moon, so to say, the Black Moon Lilith. And if you have not checked out my playlist for the Black Moon Lilith, check it out here. Again, doing exaggerative movements because I always forget to put these cards in. But first, let's talk about what the Black Moon Lilith is. The Black Moon Lilith, like I said, dark side of the moon. It is named Lilith after um, the first wife of Adam so to say, in the Bible. Lilith was a very strong, independent woman. She didn't need no man, so to say. And because of that, she left Adam feeling basically useless. And so they threw her out and replaced her with Eve, who's much more the expression of divine femininity, so to say. But as we know, everyone should have masculine and feminine energy, both men and women. And so Black Moon Lilith in our chart represents the part of ourselves that is a place of power, that has at some point in our lives been rejected and so we try to banish it throw it out of us push it down and so it's this wound so your black moon lilith specifically in your chart is a part of yourself that you repress or feel like will lead to your rejection and so it is something that we have to heal this wound tends to come out between our middle school to teen years, as I've noticed, not for everyone. This may have came later in life or earlier in life, depending on what your life experience was. For some people, it comes out around early age if they lived in not so healthy households at early as age six or seven. Either way, Black Moon Lilith shows up somewhat early life to tell us what we need to avoid doing or repress to not be rejected. And so your Black Moon Lilith placement tells you what that is. The sign it's in tells you what part of you or character, so to say, you can't be. For me, an example, it's in Gemini. And so I shouldn't be social, chatty, data-oriented, curious, um, loud, enthusiastic. I got to repress that. And for me, it's in my seventh house. So specifically in my one-on-one -on -one relationships, I feel like I shouldn't be like this. So the house it's in tells you where in life this shows up. For example, if it was in your third house, it's your daily communication style, your writing style, your teaching style. You probably feel like you shouldn't write or teach, or at least in a certain tone. If it's in your 10th house, there's something you feel like you can't be in your career. I know for my mom with them, Black Moon Lilith and Aries in her 10th house, she feels like she cannot be an assertive, bold leader who asserts their opinion and does their own thing. So Black Moon Lilith, there's a summary. What are the signs that will show up when you heal your Black Moon Lilith? Because healing your Black Moon Lilith is hard work, frankly. I'm sure you guys feel like this. Let me know in the comments below if you feel like it's been hard work or has it been easy. But it's a deep inner child work uh, in the end. It's a deep inner child healing. And so it can feel like, am I even doing anything? Especially because black moon lilith is always going to be in a way like the dark side of us there's going to be that trigger that comes up when we act like this of am i doing this right am i 
should I not be this? And so here are the five signs I wanted to share from my own personal life that I've noticed when I've started to heal my Lilith. And I do want to note before I go in, dive into this, that in a way the healing work's never done. As I mentioned, the wounds come back up, but it is a upward spiral. And so these are layers of healing that you're gonna be doing, or at least I've noticed for me, maybe for you it's one and done, Give yourself patience in the end. But these are the signs that you are making progress. Number one, you stop attracting the zodiac sign that your black moon Lilith is in. So I need you to really quick, go look at your chart again, unless you do know off the top of your head, and look what zodiac sign your black moon Lilith is in. It'll be symbolized most likely by a black moon with a little cross underneath it, or at least that's what I've seen for myself. So look at what sign it's in. It, maybe it's in Gemini, maybe it's in Leo, whatever sign it's in. Now I want you to ask yourself, are there a lot of people in your life who are that zodiac sign? If so, it might be an invitation for you to heal more because I've noticed for me, I, as I said earlier, I'm a black moon Lilith in Gemini and I attract a lot of Gemini placements into my life when I haven't healed my black moon Lilith. So this could be sun sign. You may know a lot of people who are born mid-May to mid-June, uh, if you, in the example of having Black Moon Lilith in Gemini, or you may notice that people have the sun sign of your Black Moon Lilith in your life. And if so, that's an invitation to the universe saying, you need to do more work here. You see these qualities that trigger you, you need to develop these in yourself more. It doesn't have to necessarily be sun sign, it could be moon sign. For me, my previous relationship was had a moon in Gemini, which was a very strong trait in him. And I loved it in him, frankly. But because of that, I didn't necessarily embrace it as much myself. I didn't let my, I did at times, but overall I felt this wound coming out of, I can't be the chatty one. I can't be the curious one. I can't focus on the data of it. I need to be the one probing deeper and play this other role because he's going to be the intellectual one, so to say. Or even so simply put, he brought out the qualities that I need to embrace within myself. Simple as that. Don't even have to psychoanalyze it. So if people are in your life of the zodiac sign, sun, moon, or just strong characteristics of the sign that your black moon Lilith is in, that is a sign that you need to heal more. But if you feel like there's not a lot of people around you who have that sign, if maybe your black moon Lilith's in Leo and you're not surrounded by a lot of Leos, good job. That's the universe saying you don't need to bring this to light, so to say. You don't need to see that quality to bring it in yourself. I'm proud of you. You're getting it. You're embracing it. Now, disclosure, just because your best friend happens to be in the same sign as, or your mom has that quality, doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, you're supposed to reject them and push them out of your lives because they have the qualities you're supposed to embrace. No, you know, we're attractors in the end. And so you may be bringing people into your life who have qualities of your black moon Lilith. It could be a coincidence. It's a synchronicity. It doesn't matter. So to say, it's just maybe an invitation for you to grow a little more and embrace that within yourself as well. Number two, signs that you've healed your black moon Lilith. People seem to be drawn to you. And this could specifically be in the way of which your the house that your black moon Lilith is in, but I'll get to that in a further point. If you're healing your black moon Lilith, healing your shame and stepping into your power as a natural byproduct, people will be drawn to you. They will feel this powerful energy within you and want to be around you, which in a way could feel like they're taking your energy, but there could be more so an energy of admiration, specifically of that quality. For me, it could be people simply through my channel, because in a way, as much as this is talking to a community, I feel much more like I'm talking to each one of you. Lovely 6,953 subscribers and more. You guys are wonderful. I feel like I want to connect with each of you. And so I get, you know, compliments on you. Have so much information. You explain this so thoroughly. Thank you for the data, which is very much my Black Moon Lilith quality. And so if you healed your Black Moon Lilith at all, you will notice people start to basically give you reward, so to say, for healing your Lilith saying, good job. I love this quality within you. This could simply be your best friend saying, you know, I've never seen this side of you and I love it. 
It could be that you feel more connected with people. People seem to want to hang around you. Positive vibration people too. I do think overall that while you could be attracting, you know, people who try to steal your energy from Black Moon Lilith, overall, I would say that there is an emphasis on people rewarding you for it because as much as there may be a balance of the universe of pulling away and receiving there's overall a giving nature that the universe rewards us with when we up level our frequency which is a byproduct of healing our black moon lilith so look for the people around you see if you're noticing little compliments little approvals so to say that's a sign you're healing your black moon lilith and especially if it's surrounding the qualities of the sign your black moon lilith is in three that area of life in which your black moon lilith is in indicated by the house it's in is working out for you so now go look at your chart again and if you know how to read the zodiac wheel go for that or check out check out your table chart what house is your black moon lilith in and if you do not know your time of birth you will not know unfortunately the house that your black moon lilith is in so you maybe want to fast forward to the next point but the house is the area of life in which this shame shows up for me i said it's my seventh house so most of my shame and feelings or fear of rejection shows up in one-on-one -on -one relationships which i cannot say is more true especially as an sx enneagram nine and so whatever house your black moon lilith is in will indicate where in life you feel shame but also as you heal your black moon lilith this area of life could be working out for you more so for example as i said in my relationship i my boyfriend was a moon in gemini which is very much my shame but also you know this was a balance it was not all necessarily a universe throwing in my face saying you need to heal this it was also a hey thumbs up like you're doing better this this could be much worse and so that relationship worked out in many ways and that was a sign so to say from the universe saying you're healing your black moon love so look at the house it's in if it's in your third house maybe writing is working out for you finally if it's in your 10th house maybe your career is progressing maybe you got a promotion if it's in your fourth house maybe your family feels more harmonious or you're getting to change where you live when you healed your black moon lilith at all you will start to experience up leveling so to say or shifts in that area of life for the better because as you heal the shame and make more space for joy to be there the universe brings more joy to that area of life number four if you have healed your black moon lilith you are going to feel a strong sense of physical vitality and let me dive into that more because i know you may feel like on, I don't even have a six pack. That means that I must have not healed my Lilith. Now, when you heal your Black Moon Lilith, you are healing a deep childhood wound. And as a result, you create new neural pathways in your brain for you to basically have more physical strength and vitality. My sister almost just got attacked by a squirrel that ran into our trailer. So back to the video now that I've handled that and spilling my coffee. If you've healed your Black Moon Lilith, physical vitality. So when you heal your inner child, there is a psychological neural pathway, a physical brain, part of your brain that you're healing. There is basically a neural pathway, which is simply put a highway in the brain that goes, don't be A because that leads to B. And so we shut off that pathway. But when we heal our Lilith, we're reopening that pathway and fixing the highway. You know, the highway that hasn't had much care, that is dilapidated, has potholes. We're healing those potholes in the brain, which then brings more physical vitality into the body and gives you more energy, which I know it sounds like I kind of made a jump there, but basically what I'm saying is as you open up a part of the brain and allow it to be a place of peace rather than stress, that as a result causes more relaxation in the body because there's one less pathway that causes stress. So if you've healed your black moon Lilith at all, you're going to feel more physical strength in an energetic sense. As you heal your black moon Lilith, you're expanding your container, you're expanding your vibration, which then allows more energy to enter your body. In another sense, as you heal your black moon Lilith, you feel more joy and joy is the most powerful feeling in the world fun study to go along with that you can even try this at home it's kind of hard to do but there's a study that shows that when people think positive thoughts they are physically stronger than when they think negative thoughts so when you heal your black moon lilith 
you will quite literally feel stronger because you feel stronger in yourself. Feeling number five, the fifth sign that you healed your Black Moon Lilith at all is that you feel like, or you are, living in your purpose or career fulfillment. And now I know that necessarily, that not necessarily the Black Moon Lilith implies career fulfillment always, but I think of always Bruce Lee's quote of, if you apply limitations to one area of your life, it applies to everywhere else. And so if you expand in one area of your life, it applies to everywhere else because there are no boundaries. Paraphrasing him, but <laughs> if you have healed your black moon wealth at all, you will feel like you're living in your purpose more. Simply put, because our purpose, as I believe it, is to embody the wholeness of who we are in the highest vibration, which includes doing self-development work to inspire other people to be their best selves and live in their highest vibration, which as a result helps us all live our best lives and enjoy life. A lot of people believe that life has to be struggle and discipline and strength. And I don't necessarily believe that. I do believe that there is hard work, but there is a joyful hard work. It's a joy in the pain, so to say. So there is no negativity in a way. And anything that does come up as part of the journey, I do believe that in the end, we are here to live a fun, enjoyable life. Life is meant to be enjoyed, just as the Abraham Hicks channel always talks about. And I love that. But if you've healed your Black Moon Lilith at all, you will feel like you're living in your purpose. People may be asking you to do certain kinds of work, maybe speak at events, maybe um, help someone out. It could be small, it could be big. You could be on a stage, you could be helping one person out with their groceries. Whatever it is, you feel like you're living in your purpose and maybe possibly your career is being benefited as well because people, as you realize this strength, people also start to see it as well and think, hmm, maybe we should play to that a little more you know overall our black moon Lilith is a place of strength and while it may have led to our rejection in a certain area of life when we accept it in ourselves we attract the people who want that quality within us and so you basically will feel like you shift realities people will fall away people will come into your life things will change and it could be painful but overall it's for the better to help you enjoy yourself more to feel more healed, to be more accepted, to be in a reality where people love you and as a result, things start working out. So have you been healing your Black Moon Lilith? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if any of these signs are showing up for you. Are people falling away? Is it hard to deal with? I'm here to support you. So let me know what is going on in your life. Do you notice these signs? One out of five, two out of five, three out of five, five out of five let me know in the comments below and while you're down there if you want more help healing your black moon lilith understanding your chart more understanding yourself more then book a reading in the link in the description below where we dive deep into your unique personality type combination in one hour astrology enneagram gene keys everything book in the link in the description below and while you're down there be sure to check out the master astrologer course if you're interested in becoming your own astrologer this course is for you so that's in the link in the description below thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end if you're here i sincerely hope you enjoyed let me know what else you want to see on the channel and be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to stay tuned for more videos talking about astrology personality manifestation and more once again my name's Isabel, and from my hearts to yours, namaste.